Uh, thanks to my colleague for his uh, work on this private member's bill. As a former member of the Agriculture Committee, I was well aware uh, when we were in government how much of a robust system of traceability that we actually have. But I also got to learn, as the member would know too, that herds that are affected by, uh, by protesters that bring in uh, potential disease to herds, these herds take generations to build at times. Uh, you know, 50 years it takes to build up one particular herd. Can the member please speak to the risk uh, that this legislation, if it doesn't pass, what risks to that family herd could possibly uh, be posed? We are out of time, and I'll allow the honourable member to respond. The honourable member for Foothills. I will be. I will be quick. And he brings up a very good point in that many Canadians don't understand the decades of work that goes in to build up the genetics, whether that's beef, pork, or in your uh, in your feathers uh, barns. This is not something you can replace overnight. And we're certainly seeing that with avian flu, where it's taking months to try and get your numbers back up. And when it came to bovine sponge thorn encephalopathy in Alberta, BSC, many of those farms were 20 years past. They still haven't built up our herd numbers from 25 years ago. So it takes sometimes a generation to get your genetics back to where it was.